the few occasions, unfortunate, where some, uh, uh, some, uh, what would I call, uh, interest operating in decision making at the level of the RPs, when it came to our notice with the consultation with the judiciary, we have actively taken a uh, corrective co course of uh, action so that that doesn't spread too much because we need to have a transparent process. They cannot be gaming of the system and gaming of the system when noticed has been immediately put down. And that is where I think there should be a lot of interchange of views, exchange of uh, suggestions both from the technical and the judicial members so that we make sure that the success of the IBC is all in all our hands so that India becomes a lot more transparent in the commercial activities. Otherwise, investors have their own hesitation. There's always been this uh, bit of a resentment outside about uh, the benches not being filled sooner with both the judicial and the technical members. And if only these members, members are appointed in time and the cycle is maintained uh, in a well-oiled fashion, uh, the delays and the purpose of holding a national company law tribunal would itself be served mm. better. And so the resentment was to say if the filling of the post can happen in time, it would be very helpful. And the government has actually taken that point very seriously. And uh, of late, a lot of appointments are happening with good speed. I'm glad that the speed with which the renovation has happened. And I would strongly recommend that the uh, members of the bar actively participate in the processes which are being undertaken here. And it is only with the encouraging participation of the uh, professionals here that we are going to be able to have the success of this whole thing. And I would want to assure from the government side that every bit of the suggestions which comes from the NCLAT or the NCLT are taken seriously. We are very committed to this process and we shall remain committed and do everything to make it a success.